guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, it, today's video is an apartment tour. I am currently not in the apartment that you're about to see. I'm home with my parents. Uh, but as I was putting together all the footage, I realized I didn't film any sort of intro or outro. So it'll be a little all over the place, but hopefully you guys enjoy. Quick bit of information on the apartment. So it is a studio apartment in Chicago. I've lived there for a little over a year now, but I will be moving out at the end of August. The first two places that I lived at in Chicago were two flats. So I had two bedrooms, a bathroom, a kitchen, a dining room, and a living room. And I found when living in all of that space, I filled all of the space up. It would stress me out when I'd move from one place to another how much stuff I had and how much, how many things you just uncover pulling out of the closet thinking you've already packed everything. So I didn't want that anymore. I wanted to be aware of everything that I owned. I wanted to make sure when I went shopping, I wasn't accidentally buying something that I already had or rebuying something that I didn't need that I got rid of eventually and I completely forgot about. So that was kind of, the, that was the point of me moving into a studio. I really wanted to downsize and this place was perfect. I really enjoyed the little home that I made for myself and Luna. Um, as you'll see in the video, I had a lot of different ways to organize and have storage as well. So hopefully if anyone is looking into moving into a studio or they are currently in a studio and wondering how to make some things work, hopefully you get some design or organization ideas from this. So let's jump on in. Cut to the footage of me in my apartment, not looking nearly as nice. And let's get started. Alrighty, so right when you walk into my apartment, you can see <laughs> Luna's normally right here on the love sack, but this is going to be the living room area, but we'll start off right next door to my front door. I've got a little mat that I keep my shoes that I'm wearing the most, as well as my backpack. They just kind of live in that little area. Then I have the floor length mirror. I put these hooks up so I could hang up my purse as well as Luna's like harness and leash. So it's right by the door for easy access, which has been nice. Um, this mirror is from Ikea and it was super cheap. I think it was like $15 or something, which was fantastic. And the hooks I just had laying around. Right next door to all of that, I have my desk. This desk is from World Market. I really love it. The only thing that I do wish is that the middle, so this whole front bar is a drawer. I just wish that the drawer itself was as wide or as deep as the bar is. It's actually only probably half of that, so I can't fit nearly as much as I wanted to. I do really like the desk. I like that it's very simplistic. I didn't want a lot to it. I wanted it very simple, but I also wanted some storage, so that works out great. Underneath, I've just got my internet router, a drum throne, which is my boyfriend's. It was just the perfect desk chair because it slides under my desk and is out of the way. Um, not the most comfortable for long periods of time, but it does the trick. On top of my desk, I try and keep things pretty clean. I have my little catch-all tray for my keys. Um, this tray I actually made probably like five years ago. I just took some clay and I marbled it, rolled it out, and then baked it into the shape of a bowl. For making it five years ago, it's honestly been, it's been really great. It's stood the test of time. I always think about making more, but I never really bite the bullet. If you guys would be interested in seeing me do a little tutorial on how I did that, let me know, and I'm more than happy to. Purell, obviously, needed in this time. My Google Home Hub, my very old trusty laptop, uh, my water bottle, my notebooks for right now. I keep a whiteboard here to just jot things down. Currently, I don't have anything on there, but I'll do little reminders, or if I'm listening to a podcast or reading a book and there's something that I really enjoy, I'll write that down. That's what this Jason Bateman process of life is. All the pens and everything. Classic Bath and Body Works candle that had been repurposed and spray painted gold. <laughs> this is definitely one of my favorite parts of my apartment. You'll see this repeated throughout, but this uh, wood is actually old barn wood. I just got regular brackets and I spray painted them that uh, copper color. This English ivy, has been just thriving with this direct sunlight. It used to be right there, but it grew so long that the bottom was touching the floor and wasn't getting enough light, so I moved her up there. On the other side of this wall is my kitchen. I really loved this apartment when I first walked in because it was clean. It was very clean. The kitchen was in good shape. I have a dishwasher, which is amazing. Even though it's tiny, it's definitely a small kitchen, it's just me in here. The other thing that I loved about this kitchen is that 
I have so much storage space with all of these cabinets up here and also underneath I have plenty of room like not all of these are even full which was fantastic kitchen stuff is definitely something I have a lot of I do like to bake I like to cook so I have a lot of these little tools and knickknacks and I was nervous I wasn't gonna be able to find a space that could fit all of it but this successfully fit everything and more over here I've got obviously all of my utensils I've got a butterbell which is <laughs> Such like a Midwestern thing. If you guys know what this is, let me know. I just cleaned it, so it's it's empty at the moment. But if you guys know what a Butterbell is and you use one, let me know. Because I don't actually know many people who use these still. Got a good sink. I've got my Ninja Blender. This is my Zojirushi water heater. It holds three liters of water and it keeps it hot at that specific temperature always. Actually, I think this holds, yeah, this holds four liters. So currently my water is at 195 degrees and it's so nice because whenever I want to make tea, oatmeal, I just have it there. I don't have to worry about heating up any water. I've got my little dishwasher. This little dishwasher is the most powerful dishwasher I've ever experienced in my life. My dishes have never been more clean and more sanitized. Up here, I've got this little rack that I got off of Amazon. My pots and pans are very, very dirty. Please do not judge me too hard on that one. And then over here, I've got this little island. I also got this guy off Amazon, and I really love it. The wood top is very nice. Can hang some things off the side. Underneath, I just keep my toaster, my Instant Pot, my big bowls, and then this is where I keep kind of like my potatoes, chips, and little snacks. I've got some like spare oils and water bottles back there, and my cutting board. The bag is for recycling. I don't have a recycling bin. I just use all the paper bags that I received for that. Up here, I have these three, so they're just the three hexagon mug racks. Also got these off Amazon, and I've really enjoyed these, actually. I wanted something that was very low profile. I don't know about you guys, but I hate storing mugs in cabinets. It just never really works. All these are different sizes and shapes, so this is a great way to have them there, easily accessible, and they're not clogging up all my cabinets. And then I have a big whiteboard. I currently don't have much written on here. <laughs> I normally jot down ideas, so like, I need to get new oven mitts. This is my only oven mitt that I have, and it is very, very old, and it doesn't really protect your hand from the heat anymore. But it's something that I always forget that I need to purchase, so I wrote that down. If I'm um, running low on something or I use up something else, I will write that down there, but I just did groceries yesterday. And then um, on this make side, I write down little things that I, little dishes or anything that I see that I might want to try and make. And then that's just, this is just a funny, I don't even know how to explain what that is. Over here, I've got my trusty fridge normal stuff. I've got some photos printed out and stuff pasted here. Next door, I have my step stool because, <laughs> because while all of this storage space is absolutely fantastic, I personally cannot reach it. So I need a step stool. This bookshelf, or I guess it would be a bookshelf kind of storage unit, I also got off Amazon. And I really love this. This is fake. It's not actual wood, but it looks like it. At the bottom, I've got all my tools, my big toolbox, my power tools, I've got some potting soil as well, and then my other toolbox. And then up here, this is my like little mini bar. I've got all my stuff, all my mixers, all my glasses. My friend Kavia got me these really awesome Chicago Skyline rocks glasses. I love them so much. My friend Susie also got me these wine glasses. They're the same ones from Scandal. If anyone watches the show and envies her wine glasses, they're from Crate and Barrel. They're amazing. I broke one and it was very heartbreaking, so I need to go back and get more. So moving on to the edge of the apartment. I've got my window unit, my trusty and very old window unit, but it does the trick. That's all I could ask for. Right next to it, this is my dining room, dining area. I bought all th three of these things off of Wayfair. The chairs are really nice. I enjoy them. They're super sturdy. Um, I wanted something that was fairly low profile, but also still can be comfort comfortable. I saw these tables on, it was either Anthropology or Restoration Hardware. Either way, places where it's super duper expensive, but they had these larger tables that had this like beautiful black marble top and then a gold base. I'm not about to buy something that's extremely expensive for a very tiny apartment because the goal is for me to not live in a tiny apartment for the rest of my life, but I wanted that aesthetic of it. I thought it would look really cool with my color scheme. So I got an all white bistro table. This one's nice because it's adjustable. You can pull it all the way up to be a high boy or push it all the way down. And then I basically just got this black marble contact paper, but it actually worked out super well. And then I spray painted the bottom gold. 
and I'm like always thrilled with how it turned out. I think it looks really great and I enjoy um, I enjoy the contrast of that compared to all the white that I have here in the apartment. Here I've got my little felt board, you know, standard, of course. Everyone has one. This love seat is also from Wayfair. Took a bit of a risk and I did the dark green velvet and I love it. It's nice and low so it doesn't take up a bunch of space here in my apartment and it is so wide that you can like sit back and tuck your legs in and it's so comfy. It's very squishy. Oh, I absolutely love it. This pillow one of my friends got me. If you don't watch The Office, it may be a bit brash, but if you watch The Office, you'll understand. Over here then, this is Figgy. She is my beautiful fiddly fig. Alex got this for me as a gift for my birthday and she has just been thriving in this window. Uh, she used to be about like right underneath here so all of these new growths have been coming in beautifully right next to it you'll see a little <laughs> truly the comfiest pup always this big bean bag is a love sack that's what it's actually called not a nickname for it it was a christmas gift and it's the comfiest thing if you can afford one and you want something like this in your house please go for it the love sacks are amazing the covers machine washable which makes it really nice. It's super soft. And this one specifically is like a square. So right now I have it on its side, but there's been times when I'll lay it flat and then we'll have like a little movie night here. And that's like a big cushion to lay down on. You've also got the couch and it's just so comfortable. I keep a nice blanket on there because then Luna doesn't necessarily tear it up too much. She's not a very destructive dog, but I still want to protect it. And it's nice because I can prop it right up against the window. I have a giraffe painting over there that I was gonna hang there, but when I kept thinking about it, I sleep right there, and I thought it was gonna be a bit creepy to just constantly have a, a giraffe just staring at me, so it's currently just living over there. Again, more of that barn wood. Hung up two shelves here as like a makeshift media unit. I thought about hanging up that arrow right above, but I'm short and I just never got around to it, so it's just been hanging out there. There's my front door and then the desk that I just brought you all through. Again, you can see this beautiful English ivy. It's got a whole second arm that's starting to come down, so I can't wait for that. The bed is from Ikea. It's actually very comfortable. It was fairly cheap. I wish I could lay that out beautifully on my bed, but Luna loves burrowing in there, so it's just constantly getting messed up. On the wall, I have a macrame that I made. Next to it, I have the ottoman, which also comes with this love sack thing. I can't remember if it all came as a set, but basically, this ottoman matches a little love sack but I put it here so Luna can get up on the bed and then a bedside table which is not even on the side of the bed that I sleep on I sleep on that side of the bed so I don't actually use this very much but it looks nice and then up here on the wall I have a map of Paris this is the uh, fold-out map that I used when I went on my solo trip and what I love about this specific map is that you can see all of the monuments they're actually larger in here so I really enjoyed it and like I circled where my hostel was I'm over here we have my closet. I've got my little shoes down here, skirts, all of my like cardigans, jackets, coats, things like that. And then over here are the tops, the ones that I uh, don't fold at least and put into my dresser. Towels are normally there. I fold up some of my hoodies up there and then up there I just have like some storage. Um, and then I've been using these little bins just to hold miscellaneous things. I've got like some tech stuff, extra hats. This is like my uh, costume makeup and stuff. But yeah, it actually works out very well for me. I was pleasantly surprised that I had more than enough space. Next door to that, we have this dresser. I recently just painted it black. It used to be like a lighter wood color. This dresser has been around forever, but I wanted to paint it black because this side uh, storage unit that I have was already black. On top of that, I have a mirror that I've had for a very long time. It was another hand-me-down for my family. Painted the edge of it gold to kind of clean it up. It was this like older ivory color that started to chip. But this is where all of my everyday makeup lives. And then I've got my little trinket dish. These are little command hook strips that I use to hang some of my jewelry. Hung up a hook for my robes to live on. And on the other side, this is like a hand-me-down little storage container. I keep a lot of miscellaneous things. So I've got a bunch of my bags, like my backpack, my duffel bag. I fold thicker sweaters here. I've got some scrunchies, my deodorant, more little knickknacks. Uh, my workout stuff, I've got my boxing wraps, my bands. That holds all of the little letters for my felt board, and then I've got some more jewelry, a lint roller, my nail polish stuff. I've got all of my nail polish decorating stuff here, and then another hook. This is where I used to hang my purse, um, but I've just been hanging my hat here because my purse works best off by my front door. And then, 
we have the bathroom. You walk in, I've got my towel rack. I've got a nice like shelf in here with a window, so I was able to keep all of my shower stuff in there. It's honestly a really nice sized bathtub, which is great. This shower curtain is from Amazon. Got all of my things stored down here. And then another set of three shelves. It's basically a miniature little version, but I thought it would look nice to have that wood in here. And I also just needed some storage. So I have a lot of my stuff under here, but these are the things that I use on a regular day-to-day -day basis or like a weekly basis, and I didn't want them here on the counter. I wanted this spot to stay as clear as possible. I've got my little snake plant, a candle, my toothbrush and contact case, but on here is where I keep the things that I use on a regular basis, specifically like this side. So I've got my toothpaste, floss, face wash, moisturizer, my um, acne pads. This is full of reusable cotton pads and then my eye cream then moving up you've got like some masks serums makeup removers retinol vitamin c the little blue things filled with q-tips which i need to um i'm working through the rest of my q-tips right now i purchased some a while ago and it's taken me forever to move through them but i do want to move away from using them just because they're not sustainable and they're very wasteful. Up top, I've got some coconut oil, contact solution, um, leave-in conditioner, hair oil, a body brush, and then my hairbrush. So, yeah. Am I interrupting your nap? Oh. <laughs> Alrighty, that's it. You guys have seen my apartment now. You've seen where I live. It's MTV crib style. Could you imagine if there's MTV cribs for just like mediocre apartments? Thanks guys again for watching. I hope that this served as some sort of organization inspiration. Maybe it will motivate you guys to live in a studio apartment if you're thinking about it. I highly recommend doing it. It was one of the best things that I've ever done. If you liked this video, please do not forget to like it. Also subscribe if you wanna see some more stuff from me. I've got some video ideas coming up. I've been really enjoying editing. Um, I've been diving into all the different ways that I can edit videos. I have a travel video that I'll be posting sooner than later. That's the next big one. Um, but I'm still learning how to edit and do all of the little details when it comes to this. So please be patient with me as those are coming out. Uh, if you have any other video ideas, let me know. I hope you guys are all doing well and I will see you in the next video. Bye.